I think it's a very important meeting about illegal, unreported, and unrelated, unregulated fishing and the role of EU subsidies. This is something uh, that we have organized together with the College of Gavandi as part of our ALDI activities. I think this is a very important meeting because we're addressing two issues, really. One is the transparency as regards European funds, and secondly, a ban as regards any kind of illegal activity, in particular when it's damaging the environment, our wildlife, our natural environment. So I would like to thank in particular uh, the Commissioner for Maritime Affairs and Fisheries, Ms. Maria Damanaki, thanks a lot for being here because it underlines how important this meeting is and how important this issue, these issues are. And of course, we want to see how we can solve some of these problems. And I think it's most worthwhile what uh, the commander from the General Command of Italy will have to say, Angelo Pistorio, who will go into some of the details. So thank you very much for being here. Something else that I'm looking forward to hearing is what Jack Thurston has to say, who's here on behalf of fishsubsidies.org. And he's going to be telling us about when crime pays. And he's going to highlight the need for transparency in relation to public funds. And Marcus Knigge, who's uh, here on behalf of a nonprofit organization, the Pew European Marine Program. And here it's a matter of closing the loopholes. And um, that's in particular as regards existing legislation and how it is important to this entangle public aid and IUU. Uh, you. Then Dr. Combe Friel from the European Court of Auditors will be coming last but not least in the report on the main findings of the Court of Auditors in regard of fisheries management. And he's going to be highlighting some of the shortcomings there. And hopefully, the, the uh, European Court of Auditors will be able to carry out a full investigation as regards the use of uh, public money in this area. Then our uh, colleague Gabinian Gibrandi, who is very much involved in the sector, will be providing us with the conclusions. He's the shadow rapporteur on the Environment Committee's opinion. Um, this is the, uh, actually it's fisheries uh, area, combating IUU fisheries at the global level and the role of the EU. Now, before handing over the uh, floor to our speakers, I would like to highlight the fact that even I myself, when I was acting as a public prosecutor in Calabria before I became an MP, EP, uh, there were some uh, cases that would uh, fit nicely on our agenda, where th there were authorizations being given out, where organized crime was involved, uh, organized crime got involved in legal, act legal fishing activities with a view to getting hold of public money. So th this is a very important phenomenon, not just in Italy, but throughout Europe. Now, uh, as uh, 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 like uh, Mr. Garibaldi, I uh, w uh, work in the Budgetary Control Committee, and we, of course, are keen on seeing our public money being spent properly on behalf of our citizens. So that's why I said transparency is a big concern here as well. Illegal fishing is a uh, serious form of unfair competition. So it's undermining the market on behalf of scrupulous operators. 
And not just that, it's hurting the environment. And we know what's happening in terms of our stocks, even being damaged by legal fishing. So for our fishing resources, just let me tell you one thing, just taking three European countries, unfortunately, Italy's one of them, but also France and Spain, there's all kinds of money that went to fishing vessels that were sanctioned because they were caught fishing illegally. And it's worth highlighting also the engagement uh, shown by the many organizations in Italy and elsewhere. Marie Vivo, Le Gambienda, Love, we have a report that you can get hold of. Uh, there are copies here that have highlighted how bad the situation here. And there are vessels that have been subject to sanctions, but that notwithstanding, they've still gotten hold of the subsidies. So there's something wrong as regards the control mechanisms and uh, at the European level and at the national level. So even though they have been caught fishing illegally, they still go on getting European money because adequate and effective controls are not enforced by the member states. So from that angle, I do hope that our meeting will be useful, heighten awareness that there be more of a political will to come to grips with this illegal criminal activity. So we need to consolidate the controls at the European level. What we have to do, in my view, is to see to it that there's adequate punishment enforced by the member states. These laws have to be complied with. And if... Uh, when you've got systematic breaches in this area where you're hurting the environment, where public money is still going to these people, no, it, I think there's a real need for measures being taken. And it has to be at the uh, European level with national enforcement. We're talking about organized crime, illegal activities, and there's sometimes legal vessels that are involved in um, arms trafficking, drugs trafficking, etc. So it's great to see how many of you have turned up this afternoon. So I'd like to thank you again, uh, Maria Damanaki, for being here. And I'm afraid she's going to have to head off to another meeting, but uh, the floor is yours, madam.